Naturally, I've always represented Switzerland because next to my name has always been the Swiss flag. I just felt like with age and uh, at the right time, maybe also uh, with the pandemic and everything, it was the right time to, to jump into more of an official role. Switzerland has always been a part of my life. You know, my father's Swiss, so I always wanted to come to the country because I never did comedy in Switzerland, I guess I never got around to it. And then came to Switzerland for the first time um, in the summer and it was absolutely stunning, you know. Uh, Roger came out to the show in, mm -hmm. in Zurich. He was actually my tour guide <laughs> in Zurich, which was, I was like, wow, this guy really takes the Swiss tourism gig seriously. <laughs> I'd say you probably have to go to Irtliberg, which is the sort of just a hill on the side here. It's, it's a nice walk. You should go for a swim in the lake, summer and winter potentially. Uh, mm. I'm not so much the winter mm. swimmer, you know what I mean? It's like not really my thing. There's some good international museums here as well you, that you can visit. And then I just think uh, walking around the famous Bahnhofstrasse, you know, do some shopping and go maybe to the old town as well a little bit. And then honestly, I mean, you drive with a tram or a bus or with a car for 10, 15 minutes and you're in beautiful countryside. Hey, Bob, how are you doing? Hey, Roger, how are you? I'm just relaxing in the Swiss Alps. Take a look. Wow, wow, Roger. It's been great fun, you know, doing uh, the commercial shoots with Robert De Niro, Annie Hathaway, and I was Trevor. It's been wonderful. Doing this commercial shoot today with Trevor really brought me back to my childhood a little bit because I was always on trains and I remember, you know, leaving home, looking out of the window and seeing the trees and uh, the fields go by and thinking, you know, will I be a good tennis player? Will I not? Uh, will I win? Will I not? There were a few moments where the train actually almost did take off with us. <laughs> and we were laughing, saying, would, would that become the meta joke? Does that become the joke in the joke? They weren't even going to hold it for us. You know, we were like, oh, well, we, we, we're making an ad. And then they were like, yeah, and the train has a schedule. So when I was younger, I was uh, in the train all the time, or tram or bus for that matter. I always think it's a great way to discover a new city, a new country, because you got to think about where you're going and you got to plan a little bit. Whereas if you get in a car and you just listen to the navigation system, you don't actually pay attention so much where you go. And obviously flying, it's even crazier. I also think Switzerland has some of the most picturesque landscapes that, that, that you can imagine. And because it seems so small, you don't, you don't think you can go anywhere. That's actually what becomes its advantages. You can just bounce around. In Switzerland, I would love to go to Ticino, you know, the Italian speaking part. I don't know it that well. Even where I have um, my house, you know, in the mountains, I mean, it's, uh, it's the biggest canton of the country in Garbünden, and I feel like there's so many nice little spots, you know, I, I still need to go to. Obviously, hopefully I can do it as well with my children. I've taken them on some, some monster hikes, we call them, in the family. And uh, yeah, I remember when I came down, my knees were shaking because I was actually rehabbing back in 16 and 17. And I was not ready for such a huge hike. And I underestimated the hike. And as I was coming down, we were all like, oh my God, this was too far. Here in Switzerland, you know, you, you take your backpack, you take your sausage, you take, make your fire then, you grill the sausage. And it's, it's a total cultural thing. And it's so much fun. But you got to be a little bit... Uh, uh, ahead with planning way, which route you're going to take and sometimes I made the mistake of not doing that and then you get caught in, in the rain or in some winds. I'm a big uh, foodie, I love my food. For me it's the getaway sometimes in the evenings, you know, with, uh, with some friends and family and just get out and have a lovely meal. There's like a, a thing that I always used to love eating. I had it the last time I was here as well, it's, it's called like a rosti. Yeah, rosti, big time. I was hoping you were going to say rosti. Yeah, that's uh, easily my favorite. There's, yes. a, there's a spot like a few blocks from Bahnhofstrasse on the other side of, yep. the, of the river. There's a really nice spot that, that so sells. Good, yeah, they have in different ways. Yeah, and there's different styles of it, but that's easily, or... easily, easily my favorite Swiss cuisine. Okay, it's a bit heavy, I know, but uh, it's uh, the better. Every time I talk to Roger, you know, he'll always, he'll always brag about skiing. And he'll always be like, I'm skiing. What are you doing in life, Trevor? Nothing. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I saw your river rafting. I can't ski. I, I've tried it once Ooh. in South Africa, but we only had enough snow for you to like maybe ski and then hit the ground. So I want to come back and try that. I am not an outdoorsy person at all. I think my mom told me to go inside because she was outside and she wanted the peace and quiet. So as I've gotten older, you know, I've spent a little more time outdoors and then, you know, I promised him I'd keep playing tennis because I learned to play with him. So that'll keep me outdoors here and there. But um, now the next step is skiing yeah. and my dream is to ski from the top of the mountain that was always on like the Toblerone chocolates. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's my that's my the goal. Matterhorn. That's my 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 two dreams but coming you know together. You can't ski down from that from the top. That's my dream, Roger. Don't okay. don't worry about my dreams. Use, use the you take me there, with you. and I'm gonna make it happen. That's all I know.